y'all, this is your girl Tashin. How you doing? How you feeling? <laughs> the cost of living in Skahom, um, in Sweden. Uh, I could just imagine how much I like the cost of living out there. Um, because it's getting expensive everywhere. You know, I always thought that it was just only California and and New York is the most expensive place, or even London. I, you know, I thought they were the only places that was very expensive, but come to find out everywhere is getting expensive. It doesn't matter where you try to move to or where you try to go, the cost of living is going up, up and up. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, of course some places, most places cheaper than others, but I'm just saying in general, the cost of living is, you know, going up, going up. <laughs> but of course, you know, New York, California, um, uh, London, those places, those places are very expensive. Very, very expensive. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm just curious. I, I've, I, I, Quite sure I watch a couple of these type of videos already about the, the cost of living in Sweden and stuff like that. But um, I'm gonna watch this one here. So let's get straight to it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I'm in Sweden, Stockholm, one of the few places I'm still allowed to travel to from Switzerland, and I'm gonna show you what it costs to live here. Wow. Oh, sorry. And this video was out in 2020. Okay, so and it's. 2022, so it's probably probably a little bit more. Whatever he's gonna mention is gonna be. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be a little bit more now. If you're new to the channel, you should know that I always use the same model to calculate the cost of living. In Sweden, the currency is the Swedish krona, but I already converted everything to US dollars. And at the moment of recording this video, 100 crowns are $10.35. 975,000 people live in the municipality and approximately 1.6 million in the urban area. Wow, so the population in 2020 was 1 million. Um, almost, well, I was going to say close to 2 million, but not really. But um, it went up from 1950. And it's going to keep, keep going up. So this is, let me tell you why. And this, I'm just assuming. The reason why is up more and more people are moving to Scotland. I mean, to I was gonna say Scotland. Oh my God! The reason more and more people are moving to Sweden because everybody heard. You know, they heard it's, it's a little cheaper over there. The cost of living is cheaper, and people. And then these people are probably from like America. They get they tired of America <laughs> or other countries, and they want to start a new life somewhere. So these are these are the people that's moving to Sweden. In Sweden, they have no minimum wages. The average salary in Stockholm is about $2,750 per month. And this is the average salary of a waiter compared to other big cities. Wow, so, okay, I'm gonna continue. Okay, so, wow. And he's talking about the waiter. Of course the waiter would make more money here, but but the cost of living here is expensive. So if you live here in New York and you're just a waiter, I know you, you is it possible for you to even have your own place? I'm assuming you're sharing your apartment with somebody because it's, the apartments here is expensive. And if you try to get like a cheap apartment here, you probably gonna be living in a box. If you're coming to Sweden for your studies, then it will be easy for you to get an apartment from the university. Otherwise, finding housing in Stockholm can be at times harder than landing a job. The problem is that Stockholm's population is growing at a much faster rate than the growth of real estate. Technically, you see what I'm saying? I talked about this. Didn't I, didn't I say this before? Didn't I say this before? <laughs> More and more people are moving to these places and the cost of living is gonna it's gonna you know it's gonna be hard to find your own places. It's getting harder. You're supposed to queue up for an apartment for up to two decades in order to have a chance at renting a flat in a randomly assigned location. The advice I can give you is to start joining Facebook groups and other social media websites. 
there are no clear guidelines on how to acquire private accommodation in Stockholm, so this will require a good deal of personal research. The average price for a studio apartment in Stockholm, just outside the center, is about $1,500. This is how Stockholm's renting prices compare to other cities. Yeah. So, 2000 um Stockholm is 15. So if you so he said if a waiter waiter is making like 2000. That's not even enough. That's not enough. So they only could be left with 500. Wow. And that's not even a, I don't know how you I don't know if you could survive with only 5 because the rent here was still with a starting rent. I'm assuming it's 15. Wow, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to calculate stuff in my head. <laughs> so please forgive me. <laughs> one month of groceries will cost around $300 and one liter of milk is $1.50. Tap water in Stockholm is of extremely high quality and tastes really good. Wow. It's always available in restaurants and coffee shops for free. Another thing I noticed is that they use mostly cashless payment methods. Yeah. In some places they don't even accept cash. In fact, during my stay I never withdrew money. Yeah, I've heard that in another video. I think y'all yeah, yeah, use, um, yeah, don't really use cash like that, it's rare that there's, you know, places that use cash there. Um, I think someone said that, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember. I think you have to put money on your card, on your phone or something. I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Don't pay me A man's mind. haircut will cost you $35. Each day in Stockholm, 700,000 trips are made using public transportation. It's an efficient way to move around. They have the subway, buses, trains, and boats. Each ticket gives you access to the entire network, meaning you can use it on any mean of transportation and can be used in the whole city. Oh. The easiest way to get your ticket is to download the SL app. The monthly price to use public transportation in Stockholm is $106. You could also get a transport card and charge money on it and pay for each trip you make. Wait a minute, so I'm sorry y'all. I'm trying to figure out uh, how much it costs. I hear New York is, New York is 100, and, 100 and change. Let me see, just Googled it because um, I don't remember how much it costs. Um, the monthly capitate uh, uh, pass here in New York uh, is $127 here in New York. $127 and, and in Sweden is 106, so wow. A 24-hour travel card is about $17. And this is how public transportation prices compare to other cities. London is expensive. I found Stockholm to be very walkable and bike-friendly. In winter, they even have a heating system that hits the streets to prevent them from freezing. They use a lot of e-scooters and a 10 minute ride. Wait, wait, what he just said? Wait, am I just here? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. The heat, he said yeah, the, the road is heated? No, did he say that? Let me go, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They even have a heating system that hits the streets to prevent them from freezing. They use a lot of e-scooters and a 10 minute ride is about $4. Taxis wow. seem to be more popular than Uber. A 10 minute Uber ride was about $13. The standard of medical treatment in Sweden is high. The Let me tell you something, Uber, Uber and Lyft is not cheap anymore like it used to be, it's, it's expensive too. <laughs> the Swedish healthcare Especially system here. is mainly government funded, meaning you pay directly for your taxes. Everyone is entitled to healthcare, even non-residents. That's nice. You simply pay a fee every time you make a visit to the hospital or doctor. For example, a basic healthcare visit typically costs between 10 to 20 dollars. 
The government sets a cap of maximum $100 out of pocket fees. After that amount, they'll pay for it. During my Y'all are so lucky. If you live in Sweden, that is a blessing. My short stay in Stockholm, I was always thinking of how similar to Zurich it looks. Not only for the close cost of living, but also for the people and how the city is structured. And another thing, you could probably live in Stockholm for decades without learning a word in Swedish as everybody speaks English well. And what about the best and the worst things about living in Stockholm? Let's hear this local out. Uh, the best thing about Stockholm is uh, this. The water, the trees, the parks, that it's open. In Sweden this is a big town. but it That's what I love. Yeah, I've mentioned it so many times. I just love stuff that's open, you know? Yeah, I don't have a lot of high buildings. That's what I love. Ugh. Ugh. It feels also like a small town because it's not crowded everywhere. Yes. So that's the best thing. I Stockholm is quite flat. Uh, the big problem is it's the wind is always in the wrong direction. So everywhere you take your bike, you get it in your face. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really good town to, to take your bike in. Yeah, that's the bad thing about uh, Sweden in general. You can do everything uh, outside for like five, six months in the, in the summer, the spring and in the beginning of the autumn. But from November, it's just dark and rainy and snowy and uh, oh, then you take the bus instead. The worst thing is uh, that it's it's so hard to find and anywhere to live. This is sad. It's hard to find somewhere to live. This is going on everywhere. This is everywhere. This is not only in Sweden. This is happening everywhere. Okay, uh, everywhere, especially here in America. If you come here. And you looking for an apartment, man, I hope you know somebody. <laughs> I hope you know somebody that can hook you up. Cause it's expensive out here. Expensive, you're gonna need a roommate. More or less, you need to buy an apartment. There are so few rentals. And if you want to rent, you need to stay in the public queue for 15 years or something like that. If you want to live in, in the central part of Stockholm. And if you want to buy something, you need millions so that is that is a big problem now if you really want a specific number of how much it costs to live in stockholm we could say that considering all the major costs mentioned and some other smaller costs for entertainment like going out and having a few drinks six dollars eating out that getting a few good. coffees at the bar dollars you need about $2,200 a month. Whoa, so I want to see this. Wow. Well, health insurance is oof, uh, cheap, very affordable. Uh, food, $300. Rent is $1,570. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I will see you the next time in another part of the world. Bye, guys. Yes, yeah, so I will definitely be subscribing to his channel. Subscribe to his channel if you get a chance. Um, I like to give people their credit, you know, because it's not my video. But thank you so much. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't, you know what? I need to stop acting like a act a surprise because yeah I need to stop doing that because this is happening everywhere we have it worse over here it's worse over here you have to be making some serious money over here in America if you plan to come come to America to live you better be making some serious money okay because it's hard out here people it's hard it's hard people people who do have like People who do live here in America, 
a lot of people, it's hard for people to get their own place. Some people is um, sharing an apartment with um, roommates, friends, even family. There are people who is not even moving out of their, fam their parents' house because it's so hard. I remember back in the days, everybody, every, it was so easy for everybody to get their own, their own apartment, but it's not easy anymore, okay, y'all? You gotta be making like six figures, six figures over here. Okay, it's very expensive, very expensive. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if there's any other videos you like to react to, comment below, let your girl know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So go down there and subscribe. I will definitely be doing more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more. I might check his video, I'll see what else he's talking about. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you lovely people. Take care of yourself. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but you have to have faith. Everything is gonna work out, okay? If you're someone who lives in Sweden and you're looking for your you're looking for an apartment, just believe, believe that you're gonna have it. Believe that you're gonna live in that apartment. Just believe, okay? Have faith, okay? It's gonna happen. You're gonna move into your new place, okay? Don't let this stop you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, take care of yourself. Bye and peace.